It all started with consciousness. The I exist, what we just did, in nothingness. Uh, consciousness doesn't have to have anything to, uh, in which to realize its reality. It can exist in absolute nothingness. It's, that's its natural state, in nothingness. Now, along the way, when the I exists said, I have so much passion and love for myself. Maybe you felt that in the last exercise, but I have so much passion and love. I, it's just um, it's the falling into oneself, lo loving or knowing oneself so much that then the externalization began, the radiance, little rays coming out from the circumpunct, almost kind of like representing the sun in a way. This is when you had your first light body. It's the outer expression. It's you in movement now through the realms for the sake of expression and experience, uh, for the sake of your sensual desires to know and to love yourself. So suddenly you have a light body. Uh, and again, don't think of it in terms of anything resembling a human body with, a, a, you know, kind of you, with light arms and light legs. It's just, it was your first uh, form of beingness without being a physical form. Uh, it was you in an outer journey. So you suddenly developed a light body. Going into the other realms, the non-physical realms, and you were able to detect or sense other light bodies. And, and again, you think generally you think in human terms like you're going to encounter another physical being somewhere, but it was just a knowingness uh, that there was another being, a light being in your midst, and you began communicating with them, not through words, but that's where the play began. All in a light body, all without human physical form, all without really shape or definition, not even color. At some point you came to this planet Earth for the sake of experience, sensual, deep sensual experience. That light body back then was kind of like uh, kindergarten, first grade. Uh, it didn't have a lot of substance to it. it, didn't have a lot of experience. After going through biology, the light body picks up the attributes of human biology without picking up uh, the, the, uh, its matter, without picking up its density. It just it picks up the very best. It kind of like uh, skims the surface, gets the very best, the ability for the human to have sensual experience in a physical body, but without the light body doesn't have to have biology. It has the essence of biology. It has the knowingness of biology, but it doesn't have to have the density of the body. Everything good about being human, everything from eating to sex to taking walks in the park to uh, having a, a f fine dinner to whatever you really love about that human experience, the ability to be in nature, all there now integrated into the light body without having to carry the physical body. That's the transhuman being. And the human body, still in its, um, in its human tissues, uh, still flesh and bone, still vulnerable to the outside, but now with light in it, uh, light that's lit up, light that's emanating. And then you take the light body with all the essence of human sensuality, and you take the human body now with its light, uh, with, uh, with its um, I exist with its energy fields that were created by the light, and we integrate those together. So you're both. You're both. Your and, your human body and light body, and then we're going to bring them together. So you're both. What is the light body? Well, that's what we're here for, to talk about the light body. 
It's a lot of things, and I'll be adding to this as we go, but it's essentially your sovereignty, your sovereignty. The true angelic being has no body. Uh, it's no body. <laughs> zero, as Adamus has been talking about lately, zero, but there's no body. It's difficult for the human mind to comprehend that because they want to have a, a body identity. You're used to it from so many incarnations. Uh, you want to have something that identifies your body. So even if it's not a physical body, you then think it's this big kind of glowy thing uh, uh, out there somewhere floating around. But actually, there is no body. There's not even there's not even a body of light, so to speak, in the other realms. There is just awareness. There's a lot of that's been written and talked about in the light body, and many think that suddenly you have a a body that has no weight. It's just literally light particles, and that with that you take that and travel to any part of the universe, or you can walk through walls, or walk on water, or or any of that. And it's not that that's totally wrong, but that's not really the point of the light body that we're talking about here. The light body here, as I say, is your sovereignty. The light body is the awareness that the physical body is simply a costume that you're wearing. And really, actually, not so much uh, one that belongs to you, because it's something that was handed down from your ancestors. Because it is singular, it is just you. It's your essence. It, it is your energy, but not energy in all sorts of little particles and pieces like atoms. It, it is so beautifully simple, it is not prone to pain or disease, like your human physical body is. When you have an extremely elaborate communication network like you do in your human body, it can get off. Uh, the, the communications can be uh, offset, unbalanced, and that's where things like disease come in. When you have a very elaborate communication system like your physical body that really doesn't belong to you, it's the byproduct of your ancestors, then it can get very uh, filled with disease or imbalances or pain. The light body is singular. It's all yours. It's not a composite of ancestors or, or past lives. It is a center point for your energy here on this planet. And the light body also contains, um, well, your entire body of consciousness that Adamus has talked about so many times, your body of consciousness. So it's not just physical. It, it, it includes uh, what you would call your mind. Uh, that's part of the body of consciousness, your thoughts, your awareness, your memories. That's all now part of the body of consciousness and ultimately of the light body. So it's all of these things. In the, so don't think in terms of the light body as just this chunk of uh, skin and bone and fat. Think of your light body in terms of your true essence. The light body does not necessarily glow with light, but it can. But it's not, it's not uh, necessary. The light body is just presence. Now, the light body that you develop now, that you allow now, will incorporate the best of the physical characteristics and the physical senses so that when you now go into other realms, other dimensions, or you go to the Ascended Masters Club, wherever it happens to be, you can recreate your physical uh, whenever you want, hmm. but without the complexity uh, of the physical body. You recreate the physical with this simple uh, light body, it doesn't have all the, the complex communication, and you're just there. You're just there. You can literally go to any place in creation and instantly manifest a physical body 
even if there's no such thing as time or space or air or water or anything else. This is the real uh, traveling, the real ability to go anywhere, including coming back to earth without going through incarnations, without going through the birth process, and simply appearing, uh, appearing to to others uh, with... It's not an illusion, but it's a manifestation of the light body in 3D form, but without actually having to be in this old, outdated vessel. And I apologize, Calder, I wasn't speaking specifically to you. But by acknowledging and allowing the light body in, it begins to change the, the DNA. It begins to get you off of the ancestral uh, cycles. It begins to break down the aniatron, that communication network in the body, and slowly replace it with a much simpler, much more efficient system, which ultimately could help in slowing down or possibly even reducing aging. It will definitely have an impact on the pain level of the body, definitely. And it will also give you more more respect for your body as you realize now it's letting go of all the connections with the ancestral and coming back to your true sovereignty, your energy. Your physical body is going to smile, in putting it in simple terms. Your physical body, as, as we talked about in the last session, will feel the presence of your light body. It will feel the ease and the efficiency and the grace of the light body. It will be like having a, your physical body will feel like a, an angel has come to visit, an angel that doesn't have aches and pains, an angel that doesn't have an extremely complex communication system like the aniatron, the human body will at first possibly try to reject it because it's foreign and it may not trust it. But it will quickly learn that it, it is part of you, part of the consciousness, and it will start adapting and mimicking as we talked about. In doing so, the biggest change that will come about initially is the release of the aniatron. The aniatron, once again, is this complex uh, communication, the light communication system within the body that connects and communicates uh, every neuron, every nerve, every, every cell and molecule and atom and organ in the body. And it will realize it doesn't need that old complex system. So there'll be a feeling at first of uh, possibly of uh, disorientation in the body because it's used to having this massive communication thing working all the time. It's like, you know, heavy uh, energy consuming equipment uh, for the body. But then it will learn that where the aniatron has pulled away, that the light body with a singular communication, uh, not a network, but a singular communication, will come in and start handling a, a singular, a new singular type of communication in the physical body. So there'll be then a period of feeling a, a tremendous relief, a tremendous release, a tremendous lightness and it, it it will just it will feel like a sense of freedom uh in but before it does it it before all this starts happening the the human biology can kind of kick up and and say because it doesn't understand what's going on wonder and, and maybe you'll feel more pain for a, a period of time oh. but after a relatively short period of time with the awakening of the the code within, as one acknowledges that they're masters, then what happens is the human body begins to, uh, let's say, kind of fall in love with uh, the light body. The human body says, I want to be like that. I want to be light and easy. I don't want to have this complex communication network. Um, I want to be, I want to be able to be solid and I want to be 
invisible. I want to have all these capabilities. So pretty soon what happens is the physical body starts trying to imitate, trying to imitate the workings of the light body. It will kind of it will look to the light body to say, how do you do this? Mm-hmm. How do I do that? How do I get out of my trappings of, of being in the human body? It will start kind of mimicking and, and then eventually allowing the, the light body in. They will, for a, a, quite a period of time, be working together uh, with each other. When the light body comes into your current biology, it also automatically rebalances and rearranges some of the um, energies, uh, the energy loads within your body. Because the light body is truly yours, it will also provide certain cleansing or what you would call healing uh, services within your biology. Right away, the light body will find places where energy flows ha- are stuck, where they're blocked, and it will slowly start, uh, gently start to massage those blockages to help get the energies in your biology flowing in a very balanced way once again. The light body will come in and start untying some of the... Uh, the energy strands that have been keeping you connected with your ancestral biology. It will be like untying knots in a rope because the light body doesn't need nor does it desire to have those ancient connections. The light body will immediately go into what we call the death trigger within your biology. It's that mechanism that basically says at a certain point in your life you're going to die out of the physical body. The light body will go into the the mind of the physical body, and yes, the physical body has a mind of its own, but the light body goes into the mind of the physical body and changes over the patterns that would normally cause you to die of illness or old age and eventually allow it so that you can simply walk out of the physical body when you're done. The light body is much, much more energy efficient than the physical body. Even the way you eat uh, and consume food is going to change. The crystalline light body actually won't have to eat, but part of the humanness of you still will want to. Kristen, the light body does not age like the physical body. As a matter of fact, it can go to work for you right away, rejuvenating your skin, rejuvenating all the tissues in your body, rejuvenating at a very deep inner level. To take a good deep breath and allow that crystalline light body to start associating with or integrating with your physical biology. In every cell of your body, every cell, and there are billions of them, in every cell there is a space that was left uh, open for the ultimate integration of what you would call your light body, your uh, crystal body. I'm, uh, the terms somewhat uh, sometimes are uh, not so good, but but the light or crystal body to come in. In every cell, in every incarnation you've had, this space has remained open. Science doesn't necessarily recognize this right now, but ultimately they'll come to see that there is a there is a hollowness in every cell. There is a vacant space. This was designed from the very uh, first human bodies that ever uh, developed on this planet. This was designed specifically for the time when you'd be integrating your light body. It wasn't known when that time would come, how it would come, who it would come to 
But it was known that ultimately part of the human journey was to be in biology and also to be in the light body simultaneously. Convey to your body that the real evolution is filling every cell within it with this, I like to say, this golden nectar, this sweet drop of divine honey filling every cell in your body, bringing consciousness, not just biological intelligence, but consciousness into every cell. bringing what some call light, bringing what some call wisdom or divine. Light is everywhere. It's everywhere. Light is the river of consciousness, the flow of consciousness radiating from the I am, the I exist, externalized for its journey, its experience, its playfulness. Light is everywhere. It's in you right now. It's in every part of your body. The light has always been there. Now it's emerging. Coming into that body, through that body, it's already in every cell of your body. But it's been kind of neutral, dormant, inactive. Well, it's been waiting, waiting for this time. It hasn't been putting any pressure on your physical biology. It's just been waiting for now. For the allowing. And then it emerges, it comes through it is in cooperation with the physical cells in your body. It's not overtaking them, it's in a playfulness with it. And the cells don't see it as a foreign object, something that has to battle. The cells know the light has always been there always waiting to come through. So the cells have an acceptance or allowing of the light, of consciousness, of awareness. And every cell right now emerging, coming through is awareness. I am. I am that I am. I exist. I exist. And this light is singing out to every cell. I exist. We exist. The biology with light and the light with biology, this is where they come together. And a type of merging, a type of melding together out in this very playful space of no space. So now there's the integrated light and physical. There's the physical with light and there's the light body with physical. There's all three. You're never one. You're never singular. 
the reason it feels good or simple is because this is really who you are. Light in the body. Sensual biology in the light. And as well, the marriage of body and light together. The light body is something that has been in preparation for a long, long time. As it comes into the physical body, it connects on a point by point basis with all the key energy points or co coordinates in the physical body. The light body is something you have designed. As you breathe in, as you allow it, it starts to literally make love to your physical biology. It loves all of the cells in your body. It loves the organs, it loves the blood, loves the skin. The physical body finds relief in this new type of body mechanism. Slowly, gently, the light body replaces generation after generation of ancestral biology. It's about allowing this light body, your true vessel, to come in. It's about making that clear choice from the I am consciousness that you're allowing this. It doesn't matter if the mind doubts that it can be done, wonder if this is scientifically possible. It doesn't matter because in the true I am consciousness, all things are possible. Biology and light melding together. Thank you.